Hey everybody and welcome. Today we are here in Spencer, Tennessee. We're getting ready to take you guys along with us to Fall Creek Falls. Fall Creek Falls. I do love these big boulders that we're having to climb up here. A lot of fun for the kids. Great exercise for all of us. And just so peaceful to be out here in the mountains watching some waterfalls. Look right here. Right there at the top of the falls. Nice views. Cold? So what happens is where Piney Creek, where Piney Creek Falls comes down here, there's a nice swimming hole. And then Piney Creek Falls goes down the river and way off there in the distance, you can see the next waterfall and the drop off straight ahead. I'll tell you that water felt so cool coming down from the waterfall. It's hard to believe. I've lived in Tennessee for 20 years. I've been in Tennessean for 20 years, actually to this month, to this week. And Jennifer has been a Tennessean all her life. We've never been here before. You've never been here before. You've never been here before. No. I've never been here before, but we are loving it. And it is currently 89 degrees Fahrenheit. And Jennifer said that the water is currently 56 degrees, so it's very nice. So right here is Liberty Hill School. This is a one-room schoolhouse, and I mean, we're in the middle of nowhere up on the mountain right now. Just saw a sign that said we're at 1,803 feet in elevation. You can still see some of the old log stools that the children would sit on. It's pretty neat. Just a big old log sawed in half. All right, Gentry, here we go. 0.4 miles one way, 0.4 miles back. Very strenuous. We got it, right? Yeah. This is really cool. A little indention on the side of the mountain here. So just to be clear, if you ever wanna do that, be my guest. <laughs> It, I, I thought it was pretty fun. It was treacherous. <laughs> so if you're not a fan of treacherous 
Thing. Very yeah. rocky trail. And so, with every step I'm taking... I would just crawl if I'm <laughs> Yeah. Every step I'm taking, I'm watching my step. Also watching for snakes. Awesome. Tennessee is home to 32 different types of snakes. Four of those being venomous. Those four being the copperhead, the cottonmouth, the timber rattler, and in West Tennessee near Memphis, they have the pygmy rattlesnake. So there's only three that we could potentially run into here on the trail, but not likely today. It's definitely steep. I can it's tell you that. very steep. The bigger concern is on our way back up. It's going to be, yeah, we'll I think that's where the very strenuous part we'll comes in. We'll have to take a break. No doubt about that. One thing that the camera never picks up is elevation. Whenever we're filming mountains or trails, it just never does it justice to how steep some of them are. There's a fork in the road. Which way do we go? We can go through the cave or we can go down the rocky, rocky slope. I think I'm going to play it safe. If there's any bears in there, I'm going to go down here. <laughs> I think that's a good call. Although that cave looks pretty fun. Oh really? Yeah, like this crack goes way up in there, but you can kind of go down. But that's awesome. Flashlight, I wouldn't. Where's that cool air coming from? The cave? It's coming from inside that little hole there. Yeah. Nice. Cool. Right there. Wow. Feels just like an air conditioner. Uh. Yeah. I don't think we'll be gone down there, but the air conditioner feels good. The natural air conditioning. <laughs> yeah. So if you definitely are hot outside like it is today, it basically, it'll keep you cool, so. No doubt about that. It's actually blowing, like my legs right now are cool from the wind blowing from that cave. Yeah. This is so cool. If you look at the roots where it meets the limestone, you can't really differentiate what is root and what is limestone? That is so awesome. Yeah. So now we're hitting some big boulders. Yeah. This is pretty much just crawling over the boulders at this point. If you see like a clay spot that it's gonna look like it's you're gonna trip, you definitely are gonna trip. So I've been on a trail before out in Arizona, Camelback Mountain. I've climbed Camelback Mountain to the top. I've actually climbed Camelback Mountain two or three times, but I only made it to the top once. That desert heat is just brutal. And one of the three business trips I took finally made it to the top. But this is really neat. Nice little shaded area. Uh, nice views of the water down below. This is really nice. Another mountain that I have not climbed to the summit, but uh, I've climbed a good ways up to the point where I didn't realize that there would actually be snow in the middle of July is Mount Rainier. That was uh, one of my favorite mountains. I want to say to climb, but I guess I didn't reach the summit, but I still technically climbed a part of it. And uh, just a beautiful area. Like I said, in July, there's still snow at the top. It's about 85 degrees and the snow cap had not melted okay so the trail has yet taken another twist this is really similar actually to camelback mountain i would say as far as actually having to climb the rocks and not just walking on a trail wow look at that I'm on top of the world. It's like we're Indiana Jones and we're finding the treasure. And you can get a little glimpse of that treasure right between those trees. And you can hear it. Our journey is getting closer to the end. That's really cool. This is a grapevine. You see any grapes? Might be a little too early being just June, but we were to come back here in July. 
we'd start to see some grapes on that. How about that? But you can feel the breeze, a nice, cool, wonderful breeze from the falls. Well, Ginger, what do you think? It's awesome, and it's definitely worth it. <laughs> we made it. Man. <laughs> Careful, a little slippery. Yeah. You can really feel some of the moss on these. Now, if you get tired from doing anything, I would definitely say dunk your head down. Put his hand in the water there. <laughs> I can tell it's cold. You can feel the mist from this waterfall. <laughs> Should have dunked your head in it. Yeah. So now we're going to make the trek to the top. And to show you where we started, it was way up there. You can see the little fence that's way up there at the top. That was the outlook that we saw when we first came in to the trail. So we came all the way from down there, kind of zigzag our way down here to the bottom. Awesome. That was Fall Creek Falls State Park. Jennifer, what did you think about Fall Creek Falls? It's very beautiful. Um, there's a lot of climbing and everything, but there are some like little trails and everything that you can do without doing a whole lot of climbing. So Henry still had a whole lot of fun and I, get, I put him on a treasure hunt and while they did the Fall Creek Falls trail and it was so much fun. Jittry, what would you think? So, uh, definitely bring milk and a fan. Milk? You mean water? To jug it all down. Oh, to jug it all down. Okay, milk. <laughs> and Henry. I like uh, the fall peach falls. I just couldn't. I just reached the water and then it was cold. The water was really cold here, but but it was nice. It was hot as it is today, right? Ninety degrees. Yeah, it's kind of like sand. And I will say the Fall Creek Falls Trail, I'm still going with it. It's not terrible, but I would recommend coming out on a cooler day. 90 degrees, it felt like I was on Camelback Mountain again. Camelback Mountain's not too bad, but it's always hot. And today, it was very hot. Even in the shaded areas, it was humid, 90 degrees. Come on a cool day and it's not so bad. Just remember, if you're having trouble going downhill, uphill, it's like twice as bad. <laughs> but still, it's so worth it to the end. Great views. That mist was wonderful. And guys, we thank you for joining us here at Fall Creek Falls. And we sure look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Every Day is Saturday. What is this called? This called an ant. He's a big one, isn't he? Yeah. He's wow. what, two miles an hour? He walks two miles an hour? And he just Holy gets moly. to the rock, and then that's his, uh, that's his, uh, little, uh, that's his little pillow, and then that's his little blanket. Oh, wow. And, uh. He travels far for a little guy, huh? And, and uh, I don't know what his, I don't know what the ant for his family, but I don't know what I can find Let me see.
there. Sh turn around and show me. Here. Look over here. Can you show me the pine cone? Look. Oh, you see one right there? Where else? Is there one over here? Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. So cool.